So if you hear any little beastie noises, any critter sounds, you know who's responsible. I have collected a variety of items to show to you, show to you, show to you, and tell you about, tell you about, tell you about. The first is going to be, um, I mentioned recently that I'm going to be throwing a Stardew themed birthday party for my sister. It's going to be pan to plant in a brownie, a sheet of brownies, and the dyeing and molding of the marzipan into vegetable shapes I thought might be a fun live stream activity, so if you'd like, you can follow me um, at my Twitch, Poppy Plum, and hopefully I will be streaming some vegetable marzipan molding soon, and we can chat while I'm at it. Scarecrow. I like the art style that they decided to go with for the game. It's similar to Stardew, but they kind of rounded it out and brought the pixels to life. There's a Junimo, cauliflower, chicken, a bee, little beehive. What's the like house for bees called? trees, the mountains, the clouds, the sky, the game by Cole Medeiros and Concerned Ape, a cooperative game of farming and friendship for one to four players, ages 14 and up. Look at the little worms sticking out of the dirt, can you see those? The little worms, one, two, three little worms. I feel like it's rare to see a board game it can be played one player. I love that they did that. I've heard great things about this game. I 
did also see people saying it was quite difficult and it took them a lot of tries of a lot of different nights of playing the board game before they were able to actually finally win it you know like someone was able to actually complete all the objectives required to win help wanted you've inherited your grandfather's old farm plot in stardew valley armed with hand-me-down tools and a few coins you set out that need to be popped out, but I think it'll be fun. So on this first sheet, we have algae, periwinkle, buffer and fish.
worth two gold, two gold, two gold. If you've played Stardew Valley, tell me, do you personally prefer fishing or mining? I think fishing's really fun when it's easy. This was a quite expensive game, and now I can definitely see why. Oh my goodness, there's so many pieces involved. Oh shit. Look at all these delicious, delectable looking crops. Bountiful, bountiful crops. Potato. you say is your favorite of these crops. I love strawberries. Potatoes are delicious. I'm a big blueberry fan. I think strawberries, strawberries, strawberries would have to be my favorite though. Now I can show you the game board. Here we have Okay. 
potato for either potato chips or french fries pink cake maple bar cookies pizza I was thinking of bagel bites dinosaur mayonnaise My sister loves an Arnold Palmer, so that's probably what this will be for. And ancient fruit wine. I guess wine or some sort of cocktail. And then I prepared these portrait cards for the guests. This one is my boyfriend. That one is me. That's my mom.
carry it around easily. And then I wanted to show you this notepad that I got in an art market. I'll put the artist's name on the screen. And he, when I said that I wanted one of these as aquatic notepads, he offered me two different ones. One of them was one that was printed properly, so it came out as it was supposed to. And then this is a misprint as sort of a slightly misplaced halo of pink outline surrounding each of the critters and the corals. And I chose this one, the one with the pink halo misprint, because, I don't know, I just liked the look of it. I thought it was cool. I got the, the limited edition special one, the shiny. the lines. It'll really spruce up my grocery lists, I think. Which one's your favorite? Is this a whale shark, maybe? I'm not sure. A manta ray. Clownfish. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. I love buying cute stationery like this. It makes even the most simple grocery lists feel so, feel so special and fun. And what a pleasant tapping sound it makes too. table mate. He, he was tabling at this art fair with a couple of his friends, and one of his friends was doing portraits. And so my boyfriend and I stood and chatted with them for like 15 minutes, and I can't believe how quickly he drew this. So there's the drawing of my boyfriend with his glasses, his big smile, his chin Long wavy black hair, long wavy black hair. His necklace he was wearing that night. And then there's the portrait of me with my long red hair, my eyebrows, my nose, my sly smile. I look a bit sneaky here, don't I? And my t shirt. He even did this little freckle. This one, I think, it is that one. And I like the way that he did my nose. He gave me a quite strong nose. I have my uncle's nose. It's got, I don't know if it would be considered aquiline. I think that's the word for when the bridge, instead of being straight or sloping downwards, it slopes outwards. And I think mine, I think mine slopes outwards. It's not quite straight. Sometimes people are surprised by what my nose looks like from the side. You can't really tell from the front. I think that sometimes people expect it from the front to be less of a aquiline nose than it is, but there it is. All my uncle's nose. I really wanted to show you the golden What a font. I love that font. It looks like the Spongebob though. So this cover has the snowman with the red top hat and the broom. And the scarecrow with the red hat. And the ghost and the mushrooms and the flowers. And the smiling sun. A year-round book of fun and fact 
Games, Stories, and Poems by Dorothy A. Bennett. Pictures by Masha. Let's see what it looks like without the sleeve cover. It looks better without the sleeve cover. Sometimes it looks better with. Oh, I think I like it better without it. Look at this couple on the train. I wonder where they're headed. These two cooling off by dipping their toes in the river in the heat of summer, I bet. Miss Princess here. I saw somebody on Twitter thrifted it and they posted a picture of the inside cover with like, look at these strawberries. Look at this rainbow. This cuckoo clock. This sunrise. Me. I just fell in love with these and I just wanted to purchase the entire book so that see all the rest of the illustrations. I love the wind with the buffed out cheeks. Snow angels. Witches. Strange people. I don't like that. This book is from the 60s, I think, so it's a bit iffy. But the parts that are cute are quite cute. Oh, yeah. 1946. There you go. Great offense. Nature. The frog. I love that they're, like, great offense and the frog. Really giving the frog the respect he deserves by considering him on the same level as, like, Beethoven. They're not wrong, though. Seashore. What a hat. I feel like I've never had as much fun as I could have had at the seashore because I have not been wearing that hat. Here's what the inside of the almanac looks like. It basically gives you lots of recommendations of crafts and poems and songs and activities to do at uh, each part of the year. Games to play. Fox and geese. A game that is fun to play in the snow if there are three or four boys and girls is fox and geese. Making snow figures. Look at these kids running around the snow maze that they've made. Fairies. Up the airy mountain, down the rushy glen. We daren't go hunting for fear of little men. We folk, good folk, trooping all together. 
green jacket, red cap, and white owl's feather. Down along the rocky shore, some make their home. They live on crispy pancakes of yellow tide foam. Some in the reeds of the black mountain lake, with frogs for their watchdogs all night awake. High on the hilltop, the old king sits. He's now so old and gray, he's nigh lost his wits. With a bridge of white mist, Columelli crosses on his stately journeys from Slavagilig to Rosses, or going up with the music on cold, starry nights to sup with the queen of the gay northern lights by the cranky hillside through the mosses bare. of making this hat, but I made it so last minute, I was in too much of a rush to do a camera setup to document the process, unfortunately. But it's made out of cardboard, paper mache, some, what's this called? Some sort of texture paste. Lace. Hot glued on. I burned my fingertips so many times, so many times making this hat. But it was fun. I had a good time. It went so well with my dress and the rest of my costume. I was so pleased with it. From the crown of the mushroom. Down to the edge. Oh. 